Some years ago, there was an old man that lived in our pueblo. He was well over 100 years old, and we children loved to hear his stories of old Mexico. One day we asked him, Viejito, did you ever meet Pancho Villa? He looked at us and he says, Mis hijitos, did I meet Pancho Villa? Let me tell you a story about Pancho Villa and me. I was riding my burro through the desert when I saw him. Pancho Villa. From a mile away I knew him. He wore a bandolero across his chest. And on his head he wore a sombrero big enough to stretch from Oaxaca to Aguascalientes and back. But what caught my eye the most is what he had in his hands. A big gun pointing right at me. Pancho Villa called out to me. Senor, come down from your burro. I look him in the eye and say, I come down from my burro for no man. But what could I do? What could I say? He had big guns, so I come down from my burro. He get on my donkey. He tell me to dig big hole. I look him in the eye and say, I dig big hole for no man. But what could I do? What could I say when he had big guns, so I dig big hole. In hole are lots of bugs and worms. He smiled. He say, now, senor, you eat bugs and worms. I look him in the eye and say, senor, I eat bugs and worms for no man. But what could I do? What could I say when he had big guns, so I eat bugs and worms. Then Pancho Villa let out a very big laugh. He laughed out a big laugh so loud that he frightened my burro and my burro not Pancho Villa on the ground and he dropped Big Gun. I run and grab it and suddenly I was one with Big Gun. I get on my donkey. For a long moment, Pancho Villa and I stared at one another, saying not a word. Now you eat bugs and worms. Pancho Villa gave me a stare that was colder than snows of Orizaba. In a voice that was slow but determined, he snarled, I eat bugs and worms for no man. But what could he do? What could he say when I have big guns? So he eat bugs and worms. So mi hijo, you ask me, have I made Pancho Villa? I eat lunch with Pancho Villa.